much as life. Braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I don't want them. Witcher, Witcher. Corrine, look who's come. Huh. Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him. Or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why. But we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night horse and tried to kill me? It was chance, honest. I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt the bit about chance. Know what? Shy conversation this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. Lad, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where all son is. I've not betrayed you! Not ever! No! No! I know nothing! Help me find Junior. 
I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Lead my men, take the water junior and drag him out of his hidey hole. Win-win situation as I see it. Horson can't die until I've talked to him. My lads are hot-headed and I like him like that. Want to rein them in? Do so on your own. Not interested in your squabbles. Figure out what you want. Come and see me. Change of heart. With or without you, I will hang whore sun stones out to dry. Joining forces just seems reasonable. All right. Now, I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. Either that or near the arena beneath the bits. My lads will be there. Find him. Not short. Show me what you have in stock. So long.
don't have anything to the chair and like Nothing interesting here. To burn the corpses now. Else not to call the corpses. Does the dwarves who caught snow white today? Greetings. Ah, you're Reuven's mate, aren't you? Heard of you. You in charge here? What's it to you? Looking for Junior. Ah, welcome to the Horse and Hunters Club. Alas, we're fresh out of membership cards. And you're out of luck as far as Junior goes. Bugger's not here. Know where I can find him? No. Nope. Bloody mess. Just sort of happened. Came here, polite and all, to invite Horse and Junior to a get-together with his mates. It became obvious right quick that none here acknowledged the ancient rite of hospitality. I'm gonna take a look around. Got my eye on you. were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Place has been scrubbed clean.
Bravo. Ready? Right -o. We go on your mark. Let's go then. Bad idea. Should look around. Cheryl's mid-deck collector. May your beard grow robust and free. You're a fucking dunk leech! Yeah, watch out. Was the dwarves not school right children? Hey, can you hear me? me. Don't intend to. Who the hell are you? I heard screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? What's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you.
wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. How you like that silver? Open up. should pick your men more carefully. 
Rico blew his cover like a novice. Yeah, he told me. And I told him to leave town. Most likely promised I'd reward you, didn't he? So he said, take it. That's it, Roach. Let's go. Slow now. Let's go! Cleaver send you? Aye, he did. Awaiting your word. Let's go. Time's a-wasting. You heard them. We're going in. Come on! 
Glitch! Worn by a moving door, strange something behind this wall.
Go, go. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Greetings, Ivier. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me?
So long. hovel in a Margrave's townhouse. I made some interesting friends. Footprints. Cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series. on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Sugar, and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Yeah. 
Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my boche-lairoise, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Deekstra doesn't need to know about my love life. Wise. I'd never choose his shoulder to cry on either. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm hmm menga has got Dandelion locked up somewhere. And Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. 
See you then, and thanks. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. What are you all for? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then.
Well, well. Triss Merigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches? They murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Yeah, you might know how to handle witches when they're brought to you in chains. What's that supposed to mean? That you're crap witch hunters if a witcher's gotta do your hunting for you. Listen here, mutant. Since we entered this town, we've made ashes of over a hundred mages, alchemists, dopplers, and other vermin. So don't you be telling us how to do our jobs, got it? What's it they say? Quality over quantity? Because if it were about numbers, you might as well burn herbalists, village healers, hell entire villages, black cats included. You must think you're funny. Maybe he is. Fuck if we know. Thing is, we've no sense of humor. Come on, come closer. That's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body, you search the room. Mm -hmm. I'd start with the desk. Anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga, from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals... Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. 
Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this'll make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. Winds howling.
You there, Mr. Reuven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop <clears throat> following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menger didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menge. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlak. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Probably shouldn't ask, but... Dijkstra, how the hell do you know all this? I draw it all from the flight patterns of birds. Your sarcasm. It gets tiring, you know? I've far worse qualities than that, believe me. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Wiley. Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the Big Four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up, at least.
Come on, come closer. What do you want? Went to Junior's joint. I heard, I heard. My lads near came to blows wanting to be the first to tell me. <laughs> Made quite an impression on them. I know, whore son. Wherever he is, he's positively furious. Won't be able to control himself. He'll leave whatever hidey hole he found to lay low in. Can't wait. <laughs> Patience, Witcher. And cheer up. Cleaver pays well for a job well done. Promised a reward, and here it is. More where that came from. Not swords. Show me what you have in stock.
I see you gather before me. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Not swords. Show me what you have in stock. Crafted armor. Think you could make me some? Ooh, I did get my journeyman's papers, but I've yet to make anything akin to a masterwork. You might try in Velen. A dwarf there goes by Fergus. He might help. Guildsmen claim there's no one better anywhere south of the Ponta. So long.
the guards. They're worse than zombies. Yes, Geralt? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Which... So long, Triss. That's it, Roach. your nerve.
Was lange nach der Fall. Let's go! Not so fast, Roach. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. You blind, Hortensio! That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I you can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. 
threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis' army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than a year. So I decided I would mount my own fight. What do you do here? Hunt Squirtel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Squirtel anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Well, I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm-hmm. Meantime, Vernon, willing to help or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenford, at a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. They can't catch the fox in that run. You trouble, Gordox. It's true you killed me. Now, we just you think they can't catch the fox in that run. You've been there? So tell me. Is it really the fashion among noble grand It's true you kill kings. You and our commander. Best beware of the other side of the river. One force Now, witches. They can't catch the fox. In that right. A witcher. <laughs> Just what our band of merry men need. Ooh! We'll pay for the free Tamaria. Oi, clumsy horse. Oh. <clears throat> you've been here, you've been ah. there. Best be wary of the other side of the river. One false move, oh. and you could be royally fucked. Ooh. Now, witches, they can't catch the fox in that right. Hello? Uh, no. Now, 
Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one. Including you. Come on. Something's not right. Let's see what. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? <clears throat> Witcher. Do you know why I play chess? This to hone your thinking? No. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. A heart pumping with life. I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> you do not, because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. The king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And Thank that is like check me, and death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? No, still don't get it. <laughs> Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you've an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed you journey, in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well.
You'd just give me a man, after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. <clears throat> and you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. like rain. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill old God and Vic. Uh, must be a misunderstanding. Flank the bastard!
Now, you piece of filth. Degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Yeah. Nailed it to the wall. What the sandwich fuck is this? No, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Junior, I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want.
Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> <laughs> We've made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. I've got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. We can't leave Doodoo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. Anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Oh. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll 
fucking balmy, Junior. Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Wants to get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Alright, okay. Thanks for staying. Nanti just drop by jelah anytime. That's what happened. Tell you the truth. Die. Do do do. Do do. What happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There, one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. Mati lah si siapa ni nama ni? One of the boys. Got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. Bye bye. You die. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no.
Itu lagi teruk dari monster Monster ni boleh bagi chan lagi Ni manusia Berakal tapi membunuh The hell Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? Hmm. No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Rock. Ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse? You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Philip is using magic. He'd be better off sending mages after her. I agree to the Conclave's revival. But what has this brought me? The mages at my side are mediocrities. Cowards. They couldn't hold a candle to the likes of Eilhart, Loantiel, or Merigold. There's always your witch hunters. You are the best witch hunter. You've proven it clearly. Sheila de Tanzerville and Philippa Eilhart's plan. You were the one to foil it. I want you to finish what you started. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart.
Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Round here. So annoyed. set out to steal Siggy Rubin's treasure for Orson. He promised to find someone who'd fix Ciri's phylactery in exchange. I cannot believe she parted with the bastard. Why, it's widely known how anybody who packs with Wiley ends. Ciri was desperate, but you're right. It wasn't the best idea. Orson ended up wounding Ciri just after he tortured Dudu. Dudu? Dudu related to this in any way. Seems Dandelion got him involved to help Ziri. Luckily, Dudu managed to escape, probably hiding somewhere now. <sighs> what of Wily? He's dead. Take care now. Seeking to get you drunk. 
Must be the drop box. Gave the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. Just to hide and wait. Behind the door. Best place to hide. Classic. Chris, how do you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. I really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. 
That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Had enough? F fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. You must be thinking, this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. Enough! Enough! So, gonna talk? Uh, yes! Yes! You just tell me what the fuck about! Where'd Manga hide Siggy Ruven's treasure? <laughs> I'm the clue. You realize one word and you'll howl with pain again. Yeah, and you'll still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? Think he's telling the truth? Ugh, looks like it. Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? I won't say. No way. Sure about that? <laughs> Radovid. I work for Radovid. Radovid. What did he hope to gain by helping Menga? He seeks to clear the field. Before he arrives. Makes sense. Easier to take a city whose mages are gone. Bastard. He'll pay for this. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Manka captured him. That... That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! You might have set up at the start. Before your body started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. Dandelion is on Temple Isle. In the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us and... Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. But why? I told you... I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. Oh, but... But I helped you! I helped! It's not so bad, I promise. Peace, lay and gay. How do you feel? Peace. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island. And he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him, or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here.
I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu long? I know this might sound strange, but... I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Do you do not much of a singer? No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxes' help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply in debt to him. Dudu and the mummers, how'd they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a notter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Well, perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavel. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? 
It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I've some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and The Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter. Catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. You're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vabelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. 
Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what it's like to be tortured, what it's like to hear the screams of others and be unable to do anything... You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Trace. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Jerkins. Interesting. Price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. They want from you. I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, Miss. I it, it just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagelbud. 
Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of love. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son is the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's got the win. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen. Since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to them... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, and whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? It ain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Want to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from the air. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what can prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelions. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me.
Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. So long. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If any So long.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.